Follow each new development in the Malia Davis case, and tonight that includes concerns we have heard from many of you about the reward money. Our Brittany Jeffers is live tonight with that part of the story. A lot of people curious about this, Brittany. Yes, certainly a lot of questions. We're here at the memorial, which continues to grow, and this re reward sum is now up to $27,500. But to clear up some things, this is coming from two separate sources here. The first is from Crime Softers. They are offering a sum for the arrest of suspects in the case, the other from HPD for recovery. But so far, I'm told neither have distributed any money. Patrice Hayward left a sprinkle of glitter and a teddy bear. Now I thank you down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul At a memorial for a little girl she never knew. I just wanted her found alive. That's what I was praying for. It's a question plaguing the community. What happened to Malia Davis? We're still asking people to call, call, contact Crime Stoppers. If you have any tips. Crime Stoppers of Houston increased the sum for information in the disappearance of the four-year-old to $12,500. Andy Kahn says none of the money has been distributed at this point for a very specific reason. Right now, no one has been charged in her murder slash disappearance. So we don't know how many people were actually involved. Meanwhile, HPD is offering a separate $15,000 sum, but they tell Channel 2 they haven't determined anyone eligible to receive it. Last week, community activist Quan X received information that Malia's body was in Arkansas, but says he doesn't want a reward from police. I'm not interested in HPD's money. Or Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers are not play activists. According to Crime Stoppers, community activists, law enforcement, bail bondsmen, community leaders, elected officials, and criminal justice employees are all ineligible for receiving that money. Patrice says she just hopes that someone will make a call. She's a baby. She's a baby. She didn't deserve that. So again, if you have any information in this case that might lead to an arrest or charging of a suspect or asked to call Crime Stoppers, again, you can remain anonymous. Live here in Southwest Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.